Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and <clears throat> I'm basically going to teach everyone or have a tutorial on how to do the clone or twin effect on Sony Vegas. Now, <clears throat> I was on YouTube the other day and I saw a video by, his name is Dylan P 23 and he did a clone effect tutorial type thing and he doesn't he does it a different way than I do and I was I just thought my way was a little bit better because you have it gives you a, the advantage of having more, a little bit more freedom so I decided to go ahead and make my own little video and his way is still good but I just think you have a little more freedom of what you can do and hopefully you'll understand after you see it but I have to show you but anyway to start off, what you need to do is film two different um, shots. The first shot would be, of course, of your of yourself or the clone. It doesn't matter which one you film first. But it basically has to stay on the left side <coughs> of the shot. That's the basic way of cloning is uh, one person's on the left and then your clone's on the right or opposite, vice versa. But, um... I actually film myself on the left first and film my clone on the right. And what you do when you need to film is make sure your camera is on the manual setting so the lighting does not change after you um, film the first shot. But sometimes it is okay to have it on automatic. It just depends where you're at and all these and stuff like that. But you make sure you want to have it on manual and make sure you don't move the camera preferably it would be on a tripod or a desk and <clears throat> you don't want to move anything in the shot okay and so this is my first shot that I filmed now as you saw I came in the shot and I try not to get too far on the right side of the, of the video and then I stopped it and then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I went ahead and filmed my second shot and here it, it is. Hey, why are you recording? Okay. Now I have my two shots, so I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to do it. Now that you have your, that I have both of my different shots. Okay, here's my first one. I'm going to go ahead and drag that in. And before I do this and every, I'm going to go ahead and take out the extra footage that I do not need. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, a little bit before I come in. Okay, got that, and let's go ahead and trim the end of it. That get me so sad. Alright, now that's my first um, clip right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and drag in my second one right next to it. And I'm going to go ahead and clean that up too. So let's go ahead and do that. Right before I come in. Okay. Okay. And that's that. Now, <clears throat> what you need to do next is drag, go ahead and drag the video and drag it to the bottom and it'll make it automatically make another video track. Now, what I saw Dylan do was drag the second one like this over the other one. But it I like to keep my things looking sort of organized, so I'm going to go ahead and make a new audio track like this. Alright. Now, what you do now is, this is how you do the effect. Okay, you're going to go to the video FX, and go ahead and get the cookie cutter effect that's over here. Now, <clears throat> I usually get this one right here, just out of habit, because I use this one, I just use it and then modify it how I want. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that. So you grab it and you drag it onto the first clip. Now you have this thing right here. 
okay? And I'm going to teach you how to do this. Now what you do is go ahead and click this so you're now you're going to go, when it says method right here, you're going to go cut away section. So it will look differently. And then you usually get a square. It depends on what kind of shot you have, but I usually get a square. And basically you use this thing over here to drag it wherever you want. And you make it bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and make it big. And uh, drag this, okay. Now I'm going to grab it and put it over here. Now let's see if I stay on the left side and do not get into the black. Okay. I don't get into the black. Alright. So it seems to be pretty good. But I'm going to go ahead and move a little bit this way. Just a little bit. And then what you want to do to make, whenever you put the two clips together, you want it to look really smooth. And you don't want to be able to tell. So you want to get the feather thing and feather it just a little bit. Like this. Okay, good, and you'll be able to tell the difference most of the time. Okay, so you're pretty much an X out of this, and go ahead and drag the second clip over here, and look what happens. Now you have your two different clips. Now, who could have guessed that? Now let's go ahead and look if I is there, if there's any mess ups. And it appears to be pretty good. Now, as you can see, the top clip is a little bit longer. And there is some audio in there, which you'll see later. Basically, you have to align them in the right spot. And I'll do that off camera. And I'll render it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you all the video. In a video that I'm about to post on YouTube soon, I do this twin effect, this clone effect. And you're going to see the advantage of having it, doing it this way. Hopefully you'll understand. But yes, and I did make another clone type movie just when I first figured this out. And it's called Freshman Twins if you want to check it out. It's not very good, but it's okay. And just to give you an idea. And of course there's going to be some mess ups because I wasn't really good at it at first. And then, and soon on YouTube I'll post Freshman Twins too. And that would that's going to be a lot more, it's going to be, it's going to be better. And I just, I guess, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or if you want me to do a tutorial on something else, just ask me. I've been using Vegas for a little bit now, and I enjoy it a lot. So if any, if you, if any of you have any questions, just ask. And that's it. I hope you enjoy. Bye. Well, hello, mate. Hey, why are you recording? Um...